guys and welcome back to my channel i have not turned this camera on or filmed a video in probably like two months now but i am back with um time to film finally so i thought i would do a video couldn't think of what to do and decided let's just do like a ball makeup look kind of basic but just kind of go through some products i've been using repeat products new products things like that and do kind of a fall look um we are sleep training my baby girl Jade right now. She's five and a half months. So I've got my monitor right here and I keep making sure she's asleep. But I went from having like no time to do anything to having all this time. And the camera is kind of up high right now because it was like the best lighting. So sorry about that. We're, we're working with what we got. I feel like I say that every video. Um, but I've already done my skincare and primed my skin. And well, not really primed it, but done my skincare and used the Hint Beauty SPF, um, the sun prep. So that's kind of what I use. And I like to let that sit on for a while because I notice sometimes, not with this foundation, but with some foundations, um, if I put all those products in and then go straight in with something, it can tend to pill. Really, I've only ever had that with the Kosas, um, facial oil but anyway we're not using that today i'm going to use my mineral fusion foundation so, so i um bought these and tried these almost a year ago did a video on them and then there's a bunch of other videos featuring them and then i hadn't used them for a while and i like to use this when i want like a little more of a foolproof look um so i'm using warm one and warm two there's a huge jump between these two shades like way more than what one little shade number would be so i'm just pouring a like a little bit of the light one on my hand whoa that was way too much some of the dark one on my hand and then i prefer to just apply this with my fingers so i just rub this in like i don't know a tinted moisturizer or a lotion even though it's a foundation and this just gives me like the most natural coverage it's really quick and easy i don't know why i just like this way to apply it so i kind of avoid the eye area because we're going to do concealer there try and bring it down my neck here and just kind of like generally get it on and then what i like to do is take my damp beauty blender and just kind of like buff it all out push it into the skin make sure it is properly blended i think i went a little bit dark but that's okay and always blend it around the mouth area and the nose area because i really don't like a lot of coverage i just like the way this lays on my skin and um and sets a nice base for me okay and then the next thing we're gonna do is go in with concealer um my eyes look very kind of dark and red right now and they are a little bit dark but also i just got my eyelashes tinted so they're a lot blacker than they naturally are and i feel like that's made my bottom lashes blacker so from far away it kind of just looks dark right there because i think it looks like there's residual eyeliner but really it's just my lashes so um anyway but um i'm using my fit glow concealer this is definitely one of my favorite concealers in general but also to do with a full makeup look for sure i use the shade c3 and my wand actually broke so i take a little q-tip and get some going under my eyes so i was like trying to get the concealer out and like kind of going like this around the wand and it just snapped off inside of the container so i pulled that out with q-tip or with tweezers and now i just like dip a q-tip in so because there's a ton of product still so gotta can't waste that um i like to blend this in with my beauty blender and just get it all sorted out All right, and then to set that, I've been using my Honest um, Translucent Powder. So I just take some of that and set the concealer. I don't really feel the need to set all the foundation. Um, it just, for some reason, doesn't really need it on my skin. I do have a drier skin type. 
um, but what you can do is set it for sure or I'll just go in with my brush that has like some leftover powder and just kind of like do that if I need to. Um, and then we'll just go straight into bronzer. I brought back with me my Miami Beach bronzer. I'm trying to finish this one up this season. So I've got not very much left. The Lily Lolo Miami Beach. And this is a little bit of like a lighter bronze for me personally. So it's a great one to use when you're starting to lose color in the fall and winter and you don't want your super dark bronzer because you'll look crazy. So I am going to just put this on my cheekbones where I normally would along the hairline. Just bronze up definitely on the nose. This brush really stinks. If you guys have a favorite bronzer brush, let me know. I used to use the Real Techniques one and then I got bored of it and I felt like I needed a bigger one because I was getting like too much of a harsh bronze line. Um, and then I just found this like Sephora one in my drawer but it's not very good and it sheds everywhere which is kind of irritating. Bringing that down the neck and on the cheekbones. Okay, that's pretty good. And then we're gonna do blush. I'm using my Han blush. This is the shade Bloom. I also brought this back out from my stuff at home. This looks really pink on camera, but it's a little bit more of a mauve tone compared to some of my other blushes. So again, good for kind of switching up the seasons. And I'm just gonna blush my cheeks. Okay, and then for today, I was thinking we could do more of an eye look than I normally do. I kind of usually just do like cancel out the redness and then just do a crease color, but let's do more of a fall kind of look today. So I'm gonna prime my eyes with porcelain from Red Apple Lipsticks Eyeshadow Singles. And just put this all over the lid, especially because I have some, The my lids look really red after doing my face. And I don't like to use concealer or foundation on my eyelids because it creases. So I can't really use that to cancel them out. So just start with that powder. I need to use my mini mirror here. Okay. And then I bought this Pacifica palette and I have barely used it. Um, it is the Pink Nudes Pacifica eyeshadow palette. I thought it had some really pretty shades. I like that they're kind of small and this was like pretty affordable. So it's not like you're getting a big pan that you're never going to use up. And it's like the browns and the pinks and the oranges I actually thought I would use quite a bit. So we've got to figure out what we're doing here. I don't know what to think. I think maybe we'll try putting this like pinker shade. That could go wrong very easily. Um, <laughs> maybe we could do, I guess we'll just try it out. So I might just be undoing everything we just did. But let's try putting that shade on the lid. Oh. Wow, those are really pigmented. Ooh, oh my gosh. Um, so this is kind of like a, I don't know, a burnt orangish with a red tone. So I'm just kind of dusting that on the lid. Wow, that was so much more pigment pigmented than I realized. Crazy. Just gonna kind of take the other side and just kind of diffuse that as much as possible. This is like so much more pigmented than I thought it would be. Woo! Okay, that's a little bit better. And then I'll probably take a like a light brown in there to kind of help um, diffuse that a little more. So. In the palette here, I'll probably take this brown into the crease here. And then I feel like we should probably put a little under the eye to even it out. So I'm going to mix that reddish um, tone and the brown together. And just put a little bit underneath here. 
Okay, I feel like that's not too bad. And then maybe we'll just take it one step further. And I'm gonna take this darkest shade. It's actually a really dark brown. It kind of looks black, but it's really dark brown. And we'll just stamp a little bit of that into the lash line just to thicken it up. You could do like a really pretty diffused wing with it. If you're feeling adventurous. Um, but I kind of just want to have a little bit more along the lash line. Nothing too crazy. I've just been really liking more of a shadowed liner lately. Even if you wet the shadow versus like a harsh liquid line. Uh, I think this is just much more like feminine and pretty than like wing, if that makes sense. So. Okay, and a little bit of that has fallen below, so we'll just dust that away. Okay, next let's do some eyebrows. I've been using the PYT Beauty Taupe Pencil for a long time now, and I absolutely love it. This is my newer one. I finally had to repurchase it. So it's definitely my favorite. It's more affordable of the um, like natural eyebrow pencils that's retractable, has a spoolie, wears really well. Um, I think I've said this already, but EcoBrow did come out with one of these as well, and I have not tried theirs yet. But for a while there, there were like no retractable brow pencils in the clean beauty world, which was just kind of like disappointing. I really like these types of brow pencils. So I'm not doing much. I'm just kind of like filling in where I like them to be a little bit thicker. When I actually use a brow pencil, I like to use a clear brow gel and I use the beauty counter one. I feel like this has some of the strongest staying power of a brow gel, of a clean brow gel that I've tried. Let's do mascara and then we'll do highlight and then lips. I feel like I'm so much faster at doing makeup now than I used to be with Jade. I'm just like boom, boom, boom. So I'm going to just, my lashes are already like really curly, but I like to get them all kind of like almost more uniform with the lash curler. And then make sure there aren't any like wacky ones before I go in with the mascara. Um, okay, so I've got a few mascaras to show you guys. I used to use this Hint Mascara for a long time. It gives you the most lash extension fluff from a mascara that I can possibly find. Like it just looks like fluffy lashes without looking like mascara more than any other product. So I really like this on its own or for natural days or to kind of like prime the lashes. So like for instance today, I wanna to go in with this first. And then if I want like more blackness and more product or more mascara will go on with like something more over it. So um, I just feel that this fluffs them and gives them that look like nothing else I have tried. So that's kind of what that looks like. I do usually use a spoolie too, just to like comb the tops out and make sure there's no little clumpies, but it makes them just look so fluffy and good. Um, but if you want more product than that, then I'll go in with this new, well, people came out with a new mascara. This is the um, Expressionist Volumizing. So this has more of a volume um, kind of brush than their old rubber brush or their regular Expressionist brush. That's gonna be more lengthening this one is definitely more um, volumizing than that mascara. And I do really like this, but I find that both of the Well People formulations um, tend to transfer a little bit on me. I start getting a little bit above the eye or a little bit um, below the lash line with this mascara. So that is one of the bummers about this one, but it is really good besides that. So if you can just kind of look past that, I mean, a lot of Green Beauty mascaras kind of do that. Um, but I just do think I wanted to share this one with you guys and I do think this is a really good combo for like extreme volume. If you like volume, 
um, over kind of a stringy lengthened look, then you would like both of these mascaras and the combination is really good. So then I just take this spoolie and I like to make sure there isn't a ton of mascara on the tips of the lashes because I think it looks more natural if there isn't. So that's kind of the mascara routine I've been doing. I kind of like go back in and fluff them up, but I just want them to look basically like lash extensions and not mascara. I think I've said this before, but I just think the look of that is so much prettier and to not have really anything along the tips of the lashes is the key here. Um, Cause if you put mascara all over the tips and like go over the top, they just start to look thick and chunky on the ends and really the ends should be super wispy and hardly have any like product showing on them if that makes sense. So I don't know. I feel like I just talked about that forever. But next I'm gonna use this Kosas palette. This is the 8th Muse um, like blush and highlight. And this is the cream one. They have powders and creams. I'm gonna use the highlight shade. Um, this reminds me of a the Liming Luminizer but it's a little bit more goldy champagne and it's a little less tacky slash sticky of a texture. It just feels like a little bit lighter on the skin and basically less thick. So I'm just tapping that where I would normally highlight. And then if you have any mascara on your eyeshadow, on your lids, take this spoolie and just like rub it off since you don't want to wipe away the eyeshadow that we did. Okay, so that's how that's looking. And then I guess the next step would be lips. We're like already done. I have two lip colors here with me that I brought to share with you guys. I have the Honest Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Passion, and they also have these lip crayons. This is Fig. They're both super pretty. I'll swatch them for you. Um, here is Fig. That's like a really beautiful your lips but better um, option, and it's just kind of easy to apply. And then Passion is gonna be darker. It's a liquid lipstick, so it's a little more intense. That's Passion right there. Um, neither of these are super like dark. I'm not a I'm not a burgundy lip person like that anymore. I used to I used to have like one burgundy lip, um, but those are two really beautiful options. I wore the liquid lipstick Passion in my best friend's wedding a few weekends ago, and I actually was super impressed. Like that was kind of the first time I had worn it, like for an all day event, and like reapplied it a few times. But it lasted really well without the pre application, which was really really nice, and um, I was really impressed by it. I think I'm probably just gonna wear Fig today just cause I want something a little less harsh with this eyeshadow look. Um, so we'll just use Fig and you guys can kinda see. I mean, basically this is like a user-friendly lipstick just in the crayon version. So it's a little bit easier to throw on. Yeah, I find that this one just feels really light and really comfortable on the lips. Um, I didn't find the liquid lip to be too drying, but it does feel a little bit more dry than this and a little bit tackier. This is a little more comfortable. So if you're not really into a liquid lip or you don't need the longevity, I would lean more towards the crayon. The last thing I like to do is set all this with a setting mist or just a refreshing mist. I've been using the Honest Beauty one. Um, they sent this to me, but I absolutely love this and will definitely be repurchasing it. It just feels so refreshing on the skin, um, whether it's over makeup or not. And the mist on it is really good, which is super important to me. There's nothing worse than a bad mister. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for this makeup look. I actually think it turned out pretty. I was kind of a little iffy there for a minute, but I think this would just be a great makeup look for like going to do something festive, like a pumpkin patch or I don't know, a corn maze or just something. This would be beautiful for Thanksgiving. But I just wanted to share this with you and do something a little bit different because normally I do not wear orange eyeshadow. Um, but I was really impressed by this palette. So if you're looking for kind of an affordable palette with not like a ton, like I just really like how these are tiny little pans because it's like, are you really going to use all of it? I don't know, maybe, but I just like that it's not a huge commitment, if that makes sense. This, I think I got at Target. Um, the Han blush is really pretty for more of a fall tone if you have more of kind of like summery pinky tones in your collection. Definitely love this lip crayon. It feels so good on the lips. It feels to me like these are less maintenance to reapply. You just don't feel 
it's just easier than a lipstick for some odd reason and then also this close sauce palette is really good so if you're liking cream products or wanting to get some um, this is really off well the packaging is really beautiful it comes with a mirror and then the texture of these is just like a lot more slippery and light than for instance like an rms cream that's a lot kind of heavier and thicker and you're like warming it up you, it doesn't take any time to warm these up and apply them to the skin so if that's something that seems like you might like it these are really really nice um and then i kind of gave you my spiel on the mascaras and what i think of them um so yeah, I don't know. It's good to be back filming. I have not tried or bought like any new makeup. I'm just kind of been in a slump with that. Um, obviously, I haven't really been filming. I've just been focusing on my daughter and I've been back and forth with my friend's wedding between Portland and Indy and football season and friends here. So it's just been kind of crazy. And before now, Jade would barely sleep longer than like 20 minutes without me. So I felt like I was getting nothing done. And now all of a sudden she's sleeping for like two hour naps and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so much time. What do I do with myself? Which is great. So that's all I have to say today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have anything you want to see or questions, you can leave them down below. And I'll see you guys hopefully very soon in my next one.